Hello and welcome back to Keeping Up With The Captains, episode 6. I'm Jack. And I'm Bree. And if you don't know our names by now, I would be a little bit worried. We've just spent the last five minutes of this recording watching Bree fluff her pillows. Trying to fix my bed. <laughs> and I still don't think they're great. They're, they're not very even. Oh, they're more uneven now. What? Why is it not working? Oh, and my rabbit's um, moving his bowl. So, sorry. But I can't make him stop. Bree he's... letting down the team once again. Bree, today is Are You OK Day, an important day to mark, and I think it's actually really great timing because at the moment, I think we're all exhausted. We all want the school holidays. A little bit more stressful as getting towards the end of the school year, and especially for Year 12s, like, we want... We don't know how it's going to go. And for these, uh, that's why I'm glad I'm not in VCE because I don't have to worry about when my exams are going to be, how long I have to continue to stay at school to study for these exams. But I reckon majority of us are still feeling the same way. Even if you, like, even if we aren't in year 12, it, the younger year levels, I feel sorry for because they haven't, especially year seven, they haven't had a full year of being able to be at school. Yeah, it's tough because it's not only the education aspect of it, it's that socialisation. I mean, we're all at home um, and we've spoken about this in a number of episodes and the importance of, you know, asking each other if we're okay, staying connected. And we're going to talk about it a little bit later in this episode as well. Some tips and tricks um, that really focus in on that question, are you okay? Making sure that we're all okay and making it not a joke because I think sometimes, Brie, are you okay day? We can all walk around at school and have a bit of a joke and say, are you okay to everyone? But really, there is an important message um, behind this campaign. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to get back to that a little later. But first, I had some exciting news today, Bree. And some for some people, it's probably not exciting. But Keeping Up With The Kardashians is done. Their last season is next year. And I think this is our opportunity to go big. Next year, I'm not going to be here, Jack Ward. <laughs> Look, you could have instilled some sort of hope in, in, <laughs> this, in this becoming Keeping Up With The Kardashians 2.0. <laughs> Jack's going to miss me. He can't. I'm going to miss you because if I said I didn't, I would be shot. Um, but no, it is exciting news because for us, it's, it's, a, it's a gap in the market. But for some, you know, they are fans of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I actually haven't seen it. Have you ever watched an episode? I've seen snippets of it on Facebook. I don't really like it. I just don't... I, I wouldn't be able to watch it for long periods of time. I just don't... I see the first four seasons are on Netflix and I thought, uh, I might start... I don't know. I don't know if I want to commit to that. I probably wouldn't. No, I probably wouldn't. And I, I printed off the article here because um, I thought I'd be all professional and have some pieces of paper. And... One of the questions in this article was, it was on the ABC, and they said, why is it ending? The family didn't say, but it was interesting because Courtney Kardashian, I had no idea about this before this happened, and I had a quick Google today. Courtney Kardashian made it clear earlier this year that she no longer wanted to be part of the series. She said, I've been filming the show nonstop for 14 years. I can't believe it's been 14 years. That's a crazy... Yeah, because they were so young when they first mm -hmm. started, like Chloe and... All that, yeah. Anyway, she talked about a toxic environment. And then this is the, the, the last quote that I found quite funny. Privacy is something I have come to value. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's taken her 14 years to realise having cameras follow her around all day is probably not what privacy is and what she's after. <laughs> I reckon it's just wreck your life. Because having a camera there every single minute of every single day, that just you wouldn't get anything... To, like you wouldn't be able to do anything by yourself. And it's not even yeah. like vlogging because you've got actual a, a camera crew with you. Like it's not like yeah, it's just it's you not, and the camera. You can't stop it when you're ready to stop. They just keep going. That I wouldn't be able to do that. It'd be so. But weird. think about the money, Bree. <laughs> Jack, they're already famous either way. They're Kardashians. And I mean, who really cares in the big in the big scheme? <laughs> who really cares? But. We do have a gap in the market, so I did a bit of a Google, and I thought, I wonder if I typed in Keeping Up With The Captains if our, our series comes up. So I did. I put it into Google, and you know what comes up? A school in Melbourne. They're called Keeping Up With The College Captains, and they come up before us. I was really devastated by it. 
When did they post their first video? Was it before us? I don't know, but their latest episode's about Are You Okay Day, so they're even copying our content. Hmm, I don't know. It's now time to return to our topic of Are You Okay Day, which is being recognised today, an important day for us all to check in with each other, which is of higher importance this year, as we're all alone and isolating in our own homes. Brie, conversations, that's what it's all about. How important do you think it is for us all to have those conversations at the moment? I know it is so important to you, even, even if, say, for instance, like one of your friends looks the happiest that they've ever been, they could be going, like, they could not be going well. And I feel like it's very important to ask and make sure they know that you do want to know if they are actually okay. When people ask, when someone asks me, what am I worrying about? And then I actually get it out. I feel a lot better with what I was worrying about. Have that conversation with anyone and you could make someone's day way better than they might have thought it would be by just asking, are you okay? And making sure it's sincere, as we spoke about earlier, and yeah. making sure you, you're really empathetic towards that person. And there's a few signs. We have <clears throat> we had a look at some of the resources for Are You Okay Day, and there's some great ones on the Are You Okay Day website if you wanted to, if you're you know worrying about someone and wanting to know how to start that conversation. And there are a few different signs to look out for. Um, amongst people, and I'm sure many of them are common sense and things that we do pick up ourselves, but just th thinking about what they're saying and what your friend is saying, what that person you you know or care about is saying, and how they're sounding. Are they sounding confused? Are they sounding like they're a bit moody? We, we all have our mood swings, and sometimes that can be a real sign of someone struggling, um, someone being concerned about what's going on, about the future, about the past. That's a really, really key sign that maybe, you know, you want to ask that question and make sure that they are okay. Another thing to look out for is um, what are they doing? Are they changing their behaviour online? Are they um, talking to you differently? Are they, um, like, say, for instance, if you're on FaceTime, are they sitting different? Like, are they, don't, do they look as comfortable as they would if you were talking to them maybe a couple of days ago? They looked completely different. Um are they being unable to concentrate on what you're talking about or being uh, telling you that they can't concentrate in school? I think body language, Just... like, it's, it's such a, it's such a, like, especially for us who, if you've got a friend, it's really easy to pick up on a change to body language and the, the way yeah. a person's presenting themselves and reacting with you. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Like that's the big, the big change you can really notice if someone's maybe not doing, doing as okay. So yeah, that is a really, it's a really important point. Um, also maybe what's going on in their life because sometimes we don't realize what's going on in someone else's life. They, maybe they don't feel comfortable sharing that with us and that might be getting, getting them down. They might've, you know, been through a traumatic incident that's really, stuck with them and something they've been trying to deal with themselves also changes with jobs um, and issues at school we all have issues at school we yeah. clash with some people um, sometimes you know we have an argument and it, and it gets us down and it makes us feel second guess ourselves as well as the behavior maybe that we've we've taken out on someone else um, those are the sorts of behaviors that might instigate you thinking okay maybe i need to go and have a conversation with someone maybe i do need to go and ask are you okay so, Brie, we've just spoken a little bit about the, I guess, the, the lead up to having that conversation. But when it comes to asking someone, are you okay? There's four key steps. Um, first is ask, are you okay? Second, listen to what they have to have to say. Um, and then encourage action. And then check in. Yeah, so the, the first point, asking, are you okay? It can be done, you don't have to go up to someone and ask, are you okay, in those words. There's many ways you can go about it. Make it relaxed is a really good point. You don't want it to sound like, are you okay? Take your notepad and take notes. Might be something I'd do, but it's probably not a good idea when it comes to conversations with people. Um, so there's some great ways. There's actually some, I've got some down here in front of me. Asking someone, um, you know, saying to someone, you don't seem like yourself today. Do you want to talk about it? Um, you've got a lot going on right now. How are you doing? I've noticed a few yeah. changes in what you've been saying or doing. That's linking it back to the stuff we spoke about with noticing um, what's going on with our friends and those around us. How are things going at the moment? Those sorts of questions. It doesn't have to be, are you okay? But something that's insinuating that and, and asking, that, asking those important questions is great for the first step. 
And then the next step, I think, is even more important, Brie. So to listen with an open mind. So take what they say seriously and take it all in. Um, don't in- interrupt or rush the conversation because that might make them feel like they don't, you don't want to know what's happening or that you don't really care. Um, encourage them to explain if you don't understand exactly what they're on about. Um, if they get angry or upset, don't lash out, stay calm and continue the conversation and obviously try to calm them down, see what you can do to help them feel more comfortable or just not feel as upset. Um, and let them know that you're asking because you truly are concerned for them or how they actually are. Yeah, it's, it's really important because sometimes I know, you know, even me, I like talking. It's, it's something I enjoy doing, but it is really important to listen as well and be able to take on board what the other person is saying, because that's why you're there. You're there to, to help them and you want to listen to what they've got to say. Otherwise, really, there's no point asking the question if you're not going to listen um, yeah, exactly, to, the, yeah. to the answer. And then once you've got that answer, sometimes that'll be, that'll be good. Like they'll, they'll feel, as you said, get that off their chest. It'll really relax them and, and might, and might fix the, fix the, the little issue they're going through, or their little challenge that they're going through. But sometimes it's not. And sometimes people, um, need a little bit more assistance, need a little bit of help, need to talk to someone else because, you know, we're, we're just their friends. We're just the people that they know. We're not trained in, um, making sure people are, are, are mentally healthy. That's not what we're, that's not our role. Our role is just to look after our friends. So sometimes you can't provide what a psychologist can provide. So it's important to encourage them to seek more help if they need. If they need to talk to Bonnie, if they need to talk to Taylor, um, just encourage them to really reach out to those people. Bonnie and Taylor are lovely to talk to. They're always um, looking to at ways to help us as students. So it's really important to do that. And there's also all those outlets that you can, you can contact Headspace give them a call. I think there's even an online chat if you didn't want to give them a call. There's so many yeah, ways um, to reach out for help from trained professionals as well. And the last step, Brie? Um, remember to check in. Um, you can check in after a few days to see, again, how they are and if they are still worrying about the same thing. Understand that sometimes it can take a long time for someone to be ready to see a professional. Um, so if you do think they need to see someone, if you do mention it to them, some people won't just go straight away. They might need a couple, just a couple of days to think it over and see, like think, okay, I do need to go see someone or they might be a little bit scared to actually say it to another person. But I feel like even just mentioning it to that person, I reckon you need to go see someone that could make them feel like they actually do and it could help the situation a lot better. So we've spoken about a lot in today's episode. It's been been pretty intense, but it's so important, I think, on Are You OK Day to reinforce those steps. We do hear it a little bit, but and we've heard it through during mental groups this week, but we wanted to bring it to you here on Keeping Up With The Captains and have a bit of an informal discussion about it. Um, But as I said, there is so many services out there. If you do want to seek some help, if you do want to get in touch with an organisation that's maybe not, not the school, as I said, there's Bonnie, there's Taylor... Um, there's Harlow, there's many people within our school's welfare team that are, that are there ready to assist you in any way they can, but there is also those services that are available externally. And the website that you can go to, if you do want to know more is ruok.org.au forward slash find help. And then on there, they'll have the list of the different services beyond blue kids helpline, lifeline, men's line, all those the, the phone lines, but also the websites and live chats that you can access as well, which are a great resource. That brings us to the end of this episode, episode six of Keeping Up With The Captains, which will soon be taking over from Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I am sure of it. In the next episode, we'll finally be able to see how well Jack can cook with my instructions and not knowing what he's actually cooking, only the ingredients and how much of what he's going to need. I'm scared. I actually don't think I'm going to sleep between now and the next episode, Brie. Did you the notice I put... I have to come to your house. Did you notice that I put it off and we've done a different that we've done a different episode this time? But I don't really know what you're cooking yet, so... Oh, I'm scared. Just don't make me make some, like, huge cake. No, it's, it's not. No, it's going to be not easy. It's going to be not hard. It's, like, kind of in the middle, like... I'm no, I'm no Chloe Brasser, so I hope that you're not going to give me something that's challenging like that. No. No, I'll, I'll, no.
Would you rather sweet or savory? Sweet. I need I need as much sugar as I can get to get me through the days at the moment. That ends this episode of Keeping Up With The Captains. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>